Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Back to more The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, The Craig Chronicles. In the last episode, uh, I have been invited to this party to murder every single one of these guests. In this episode, I intend to do just that. And actually, there's somebody who's, uh, not with the rest of the group now. Have you heard my... You'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe to go wandering off alone. This is actually where I'm going to quick killer. save and then, uh, yeah. Ooh. Nobody's any the wiser, it looks like. They don't even- uh, 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 All the time I spent playing Among Us, I now realize- One of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but... Who? Where is- Is everybody just separated? Dear friend, have you heard? Neville. Well, Neville is a trained soldier. He was in the Imperial Legion for 20 years or so, I've heard. He certainly knows how to kill. Everyone just immediately Still, trusts Krug. I don't think he's the murderer, no. Quite the contrary. I think he takes the murders personally. Feels he should have protected the victims. Matilda. The more people that drop dead, the more annoying Matilda becomes. She keeps watching over me like some kind of worried grandmother. If the killer strikes again, maybe they'll do me a favor and take her out next. Oh, I want, I want to do that for the irony. I was thinking, maybe Nels found the chest of gold and one of the others killed him for it. We've got to be careful, my friend, or we could be next. Well, they'd be gone if that was the case, but because the key, the, the key is supposedly in the chest, but... Where? Are they both upstairs? Oh my god, what is this? One of us is a killer, but who? I, I have to, I have to try. Did he notice? So many people dead. Oh my they god, didn't he didn't notice! Listen, I've searched every inch of this house. It's sealed up. That means the killer has been inside with us all along. You and I aren't murderers. So that leaves one person. Oh! Matilde's murder saddens me, friend. But not for the reason you may think. Ten years ago, when I was in my prime, this never would have happened. But now I'm old, and my instincts have failed. I let that woman down. How did he not see it? One less Nord in the world is something I'd normally cheer about. But the fact that he was murdered by a fellow guest does put a damper on things. It's all starting to make sense now. Primo didn't need the money. He has more than any of us. Enough, in fact, to give away an entire chest of gold. Uh oh That rich little bastard lured us all here by appealing to our greed. Don't you see? He considers us all low class and he wants us exterminated. That high-born little worm won't get away with this. He'll pay with his life. Come on, you watch my back. I'm going to take Primo down. What? Well, okay. Wait a minute. If that's the, oh my god, if, if he's doing that, yes. Oh my god, that I that I could be vindicated. If, I, I like that I could be vindicated as not being the murderer. Oh my god. Well, that's that. The killer is dead, and this nightmare is just about over. All we have to do now is find a way out of here. Incredible! Oh my god! Yeah, leaving Neville alive is definitely the play here. All the guests are dead and no one knew I was the killer. I must now return to the sanctuary to speak with Ochiva to receive my reward and bonus. Holy cow! Like, I knew there were- I, I figured at some point somebody was gonna turn on somebody else. I really wanted to speak to Primo again, uh, though, after I killed Matilde, but I, I kind of triggered an event there. Oh my god! Yeah, no, I was not expecting that! Uh, I was, um... Cause, like, here's the thing, I've done this one before, and, like, I- What I- what I did was I let the, uh, was that I, I, I personally killed, like, everybody, everybody in there. So, like, when it came to the last person, he was like, Oh, you must be the last guy! Ah! And, like, I think that ruined the bonus for me, honestly. 
But this one, just convincing someone to kill someone else made it all- made all the difference! Especially when that- when, uh, that, uh, that person was- was a veteran, and, uh, the other person was just a spoiled rich brat that could easily be killed? And it worked out because I think he was suspecting Primo well for the longest time done. anyway. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets. Oh my god. And permanent- Jesus Christ, the Dark Brother gives some pretty awesome rewards, I'm realizing. Cause now I just- I just have this, right? Just under the active effects. Unless that was a- unless that was like a spell or a blessing I had. Pilgrim's Grace. Uh, let me see, my- my powers. Yeah, no. I'm surprised I can still cast this on myself. I, sh I should really hotkey this. This Pilgrim's Grace is good. Uh, excuse me, I wish to- okay. Hello. Greetings once more, assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. Oh, heck yes, let's do it! Do you recall the name Adamus Philida? The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Time for revengeance. Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man, and was surrounded by powerful associates. Powerful. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. Vulnerable? Uh, what must I do, Ochi? What must Krug do, Ochiva? The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is a magic arrow, specifically enchanted to kill its target. In this case, Philida. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the rose will be wasted. Even if I shoot him in the face? Travel to Leowin. Track Philida. Learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, Take the very finger from his corpse, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. The bonus is yours. All right, uh... Adamus Philida will find no rest in retirement, no. His soul will endure a kind of eternal suffering known only to those who have angered Sithis. Definitely gonna be quick saving for this one. I hate these one-shot ones. Although, I guess like, I guess I can kill him whenever, but still. Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother... Anybody got any, uh, yes, info? Yes, dearest brother. Oh, you're being sent to kill Philida. No, no, uh, I'm looking, looking for Good advice night, here. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I st even though, like, I've heard it so many times, I still like that line. Although, I will say her demeanor kind of creeps me out. You and I. Um, don't get me wrong. That magic arrow sounds nice and all, but it seems to me like you don't even need to use it to get the bonus. As long as you cut off his finger and leave it in that desk, you'll get your bonus. Sounds to me like you can kill the old sod any way you'd like. That's true, but I'd like to find- So what if he's wearing armor? 
You think that Imperial Legion scrap can stop a well-forged Claymore? Not bloody likely. Ha 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 ha. Alright, bye. Happy hunting, my brother. I do want to kill him with the arrow, though, just because in case others want to kill him with the arrow, uh, this would be a good way to show people, like, when exactly he's not wearing the armor. It's good to see you again. Contract. The roles will only work if Philida is unarmored. So, when would a soldier not wear his armor? I only take my armor off to sleep or swim. Sink or swim. May you walk. All right, let's see if the high elf and the vampire are anywhere around here. Although, if this is the daylight hours, the the high elf is probably walking around uh, on the surface. Get away from me. Yeah, you don't like me. I know that. I know. You'll be singing a different tune though when I when I'm like at the at the head of this this outfit. Uh, so good to see you. Are is you, that anything you you in your tomb? Yes. Wake up. Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. Good day. Hello, contract. Philida may be retired, but he'll likely have a bodyguard. Probably a member of- Alright. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. No problem. So I guess this is just sort of like a payment from our own coffers then. There's no- There's no, uh- Wow, how did I remember where that was? There's no, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, there's no- Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. No, there's no uh, client. There is no clientele. Uh, and for this, I do believe I would like my outfit back, please. Yes. Yeah, you really don't like me just because of my infamy. But that is okay. Krug, as he is now, does not wish for fame. Krug only seeks vengeance and fear. And sandwiches is what in God's name is going on. Oh my God, perfect moment. All right, hold on, we have it then. Seven to eight, he's swimming. Are you Philida? Do we know each other? Uh, no, no. Yes, well. All right, well, found it. I wonder how long he swims for. And how long... Uh, how long will I have to wait for him to do it again? Let's go with the 22 hours. If he's not there swimming, then, um... Then I'll just wait another hour. Simple as that. Seems like he swims for quite a while. Swimming in the little ponds around there, and then I got a quick save beforehand. Swimming at night, too. A lot of people I know who have gone swimming for, like, exercise have swum in the morning. I love swimming, though. It's nice to just, like, you know, feel, feel free. You know? Where the, where in God's name is he? His bodyguard is in the water with him. Well, he just said it, he's just sort of sitting there. He's, like, in the, I cannot see him. All right. Quick save, let me equip the the bow, the arrow, okay, row, nope, rows of Sithis, and the, oh, I put the other bow away, okay, bow storms it is. Uh, the other thing too is that I'm probably gonna need the gray fox cowl in order to be able to see where the damn guy is, but there's also a chance, this is not gonna hit him. You're wanted dead. I shall resist then arrest. Pay with you. I sure wasn't expecting this. Wait, what? What in God's ah. name? I hit him! I hit him with the damn arrow! Rose of Sithis, Blade of Storm. Is that to be an unenchanted bow? Did it have some sort of effect when it hit the water? You're the grave. What in God's name? He's, he's in there for a while, so let me wait another hour and then wait for him to get out of the water. Maybe the water has something to do with it? Who knows? I should probably quick save again once I equip the bow and arrow. I can't believe I caught him at the perfect time as well. I don't understand. Rose is said this. Supposed to kill on contact, right? 
Some weird jerking motions there. I definitely want to be wearing the, uh, the cowl for this one. Adamus Philida is dead. Got him. I guess he couldn't be in the water for it. I mean, I return to the sanctuary for my reward, but if I want to receive a bonus, however, there is one more task I must complete. Philida wears an Imperial Legion ring. I should take his finger with the ring. It's still attached to it. Put it in uh, the desk of Philida's Imperial Legion successor in his office in the Imperial City. I wonder if this guy's even going to care. Just in case, I'll sneak. Give me... <laughs> I can take the rose back! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude! Acquired the severed finger of Adamus Philida with the ring still attached. I should now go to the Imperial City. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. The Imperial City Prison. It is not a great place, Krug would know. Krug would also like revenge here as well. God, that scared me. All right. Um. Go ahead and help the god. Yep, you see me. Stop! God. Pig old. That, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what. I don't even know what I have on me that's that might be stolen, if anything. You have my ear, citizen. Probably the easiest evidence chest to uh to. You have my ear, citizen. Like get from Oh, okay. No, I can make this work. Uh strong potion of visibility. Uh this is actually going to be real awkward. Cuz he's going to see me for the briefest of seconds. Oh, but you know what? That that's fine. The the unseen sandwich shell. Aid. Oh boy. A uh, bounty? Doesn't look like it. Like it, I'm not really getting the hey, I know you. I probably should have been wearing the cowl, honestly. Do I have a bounty from that? Nope. All right. Neat. Yep, let's head back. I'm surprised I didn't get a bounty. He saw me for a split second and was like wandering around like, was that, was that real? Am I real? Am I just a facsimile of a man in a video game? Oh, hello. Destined to have messages sent sent of me in the form of fingers of my of my predecessors at this job? No, that's silly. I'm definitely real. It's like that joke I make about going phasing in and out of existence. Hey, Ochiva. Adamus Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. I am happy. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus, 500 additional gold coins, is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. Hey, Krug is asking. Ah, Assassin, I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you from Lucien Lachance. <gasps> you must open these sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you. The Black Hand. Krug is honored. All right, so let's take a look at these ins instructions. Uh... Orders from Lucien. Eliminator. You have served the Dark Brotherhood well in the short time you have been with us. Indeed, the rate of your advancement has been rather remarkable. 
Now the Black Hand itself is in need of your abilities. You must proceed with all haste to my private refuge in the ruins of uh, Fort Farragut, located in the forest northeast of, Chayden, of the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. When you arrive, we will discuss the nature of your special assignment. I cannot stress uh, to you enough the importance of your swift arrival to Fort Farragut. There are unseen powers working to unravel the very fabric of the Dark Brotherhood. The Black Hand is counting on you to prevent this disaster. Do not share the contents of this message with anyone at the Chayden Hall Sanctuary, including Ochiva, and make sure, make no mention of your journey to Fort Farragut. Also, be warned, my refuge within Fort Farragut is guarded by denizens who will attack any interloper on sight. Get through these rotting sentinels and you will surely have earned the right to visit my private sanctum, Lucien Lachance. I've received sealed orders from Lucien Lachance. I am to meet with him in Fort Farragut which is in the wilderness of the northeast of the Brotherhood Sanctuary. Apparently is a special assignment for me. Well, let's get moving! We get on a moving, we get on a schmoving, we get on a moving. We get on a moving. Oh, it's, that's, that is incredibly close! Holy cow! You ever notice the dark sinister guy that lives in the fort up on the hill? We do not talk of him. I'm done talking to you. You ain't listening. Wait, what? I'm done talking to you. You ain't listening. I... Hold on. Wait a minute. Just a second. Just a little friendo krug in second. I'm done. Nope, okay. He just doesn't want to talk to me. Done talking to me. I, I probably wronged this guy in some way, and I have no idea who he is. Yeah, well, just straight on up there. Bergamot. Oh, a delightful reindeer. So now I gotta deal with the undead. The undead. The undead. Are the undead already the outside, or are they merely inside? This is really close to Chain Hall, so I would not be surprised if, if there were no undead out here. In fact, this is probably a good time to put on the, uh, the, the, uh, the dark, yeah, the Dark Brotherhood cowl. That's pretty much what- What in God's name happened? I tripped? Oh, my stamina went away. What happened there? <gasps> Wait a minute, is that, was that an effect of the, of the vampirism? <gasps> Uh-oh. Wait, how did that affect- wait, hold on. Oh, you know what it probably was? Yeah, I was jumping all over the place? And then, where- where in my armor is it? Endurance! Okay, so I had a negative value for, um... Okay, that makes sense now. I had a negative value for fatigue, uh, which caused me to fall over. All right. Let's see, where is good old Lucian? There's a door right here, but I'm assuming it won't be that easy. Oh, actually, it kind of is. Here, I mean, here's the thing, there's definitely treachery afoot. There's always treachery afoot when it comes to things like this. Uh... Wait, is this the wrong way? No. But it seems like it's also part of something much larger. So, I'm gonna go ahead and drink, uh, drink up my, my, my potion. Uh, the unseen sandwich. Hopefully sneak by these guys, no problem lickety split. I mean, it just works, man. Oh lord, I hope there's like a faster way to get around here. Good lord, there's like, there's so much to this place I'm noticing. Like, I don't, I don't gotta do much. Like, invisibility is just gonna get me through here, all right? I mean, that just, that just takes me on a roundabout journey if I miss that hole. He's trapped the place up nicely. Wonder... Very curious about this, considering everything. All right, let's go ahead and have another... Let's go ahead and have another unseen sandwich, shall we? Mmm, mmm, delicious. A pressure plate that's like really obvious, like 
Almost painfully so. Oh, is that him? Sweet. I have been waiting for you, assassin. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation. The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom and for what purpose we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the traitor and the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. The traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. It was learned that the traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. What if Krug was initiated by the traitor? Oh no, I was initiated by him! Wait, you can't possibly mean- Oh, but I do. You have been selected by the Black Hand to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. You must break one of the tenets you have sworn to uphold. I know. This is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Gogron Grobalmag, Talendril, Mirage Dar, and Tainava. All these family members must die. From this point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sethis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. The Black Hand shall be served. When the rite of purification has been completed, return to me here at Fort Farragut, and we will discuss your future. Now, take these special gifts. They will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple. The other, a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck, Silencer. How does the poison apple work? The apple has been treated with a most deadly poison. It will likely kill whomever eats it, probably instantly. To use the apple, simply dispose of any other food and put the apple in its place. If someone is inclined to eat and they taste the apple death verification the dark brotherhood is an ancient organization we have survived for millennia sometimes to ensure that survival drastic measures are required the purification is one of the most extreme measures we are forced to carry out indeed it has only been carried out twice. Before now, that is. The five tenets are the laws that guide and protect us. But sometimes, even they must be broken to protect the sanctity of our beliefs. With a purification, we cleanse the Dark Brotherhood of mistrust and treachery. Those who are slain are offered to Sithis as a symbol of fealty. Okay, Krug wanted... And hopefully, we kill the traitor in the process. Until the purification is complete, no given sanctuary will ever be considered secure. Uh, rumors. Dear brother. Okay, unique scroll of summoning. Is it Rufio's soul? You of course recall Rufio, the feeble old man I sent you to kill when we first met. He was weak in life. But his spirit is quite angry in death. Quite angry. The scroll will allow you to call upon Rufio's angry ghost for assistance. He will appear, unleash his anger upon your foes, and then disperse. Interesting. Make haste. The sanctuary must be purified if this treachery is oh to be Oh my god, this is a, there's just a... Oh, 
goodness gracious. Hey, a chest that I'm just allowed to take from. Neat. Gold. Able to avoid all that. Any, anything good in here? A human heart. All right, well, back to the Nibbin Bay. And, uh, oh boy. I wonder if uh, this is this would probably be locked if I tried to just go in in through there, right? Well, dang, that's a that's quite a conundrum. And uh, not uh, also not a very healthy way to go about it. Hey, one of our allies is is evil, so you have to kill them all. Um, hope that's hope that's cool. Okay, are you uh, are you okay with this? You want to you want to you want to take a minute? Do you want to? Just like, just, just go ahead and just murder all your friends. I'm gonna discover these two places and I'm gonna end the episode. Um, with which, wait a minute. Why is one of them so far outside the city? Cause like there's one here and then I see a green? South. Uh, map? So... Who? Is there a member of our of the Dark Brotherhood in the sanctuary that like that regularly goes out on on constitutionals like really far constitutionals to like several counties over? I was just taking my morning power walk. Hi, are you planning on killing me? Oh, you're a minotaur. So yeah, that's a yes on uh, on whether or not you're going to kill me. I use the cudgel. I rarely use the cudgel. Oh good, I was actually out of magic and he just replenished all of it. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, what a face. Oh my god, future Tom, please remember to make that the thumbnail. <laughs> Well, that's what the mine was. Hysterical. All right, I found I found Keeman. I found the Keeman Islands, and also oh a cougar. Gah! Unbelievable combo by a cougar. All right. There's- I see somebody else down there. Oh, was it just the deer? Makes sense. Anyway, next time in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, we are going to be heading back to Chaden Hall and beginning the process of purification on the sanctuary. See you all then! Later!